guys, this is Jane, sorry for the shaking. Um, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I hope you find something you can use. Um, or just enjoy watching what I'm doing. Um, and that you would like to subscribe. If you're one of my long term subscribers, welcome back. I am so happy you have returned. Um, what I show on my channel is mostly cross stitch at the moment. Uh, I'm showing some knitting, some crochet, and occasionally some paper crafting. I'm not paper crafting a whole lot because the room that I'm currently having my craft supplies in has turned into kind of a storage room as well, so it's hard for me to get to my stuff. The room I'm sitting in is going to be my new craft room. Um, whenever I get get things sorted out and get furniture moved around, and I have been spending a lot of time packing my daughter's things up in boxes and her clothes and bags and such. She moved out a couple of months ago, and she has been very busy. Um, she started. Uh, education as a school teacher um, and I've been busy with that and she had a lot of things to do during her summer break as well and it was just so hot that I wouldn't you know force her to do it so I've just slowly been doing a little bit occasionally and then she will get the boxes and things over and she can sort through it um, so yeah, this is going to be my craft room, some point of time. I haven't, it's the first time I'm filming in here and I'm using my old iPhone that doesn't work as a phone, can't get a, a good decent signal, it cuts out all the time, so I hope the lighting is alright, um, I have a ceiling lamp up there and I have a lamp over here on the desk. Um, so yeah, um, the first thing today I'm going to show a bit of a lot of things. I uh, hope I don't get to ramble too much. I actually have made this video once already, but it cut out at the end, so I'll have to be a bit quicker. The first thing is actually a piece of happy mail I received. This beautiful card is from Jill, who used to be Love My Two Box One on here and is now Jill May Creations. Um, so she made me this beautiful card just to say hello and say that she's thinking of me. So thank you so much, Jill. I love getting these cards from you in the mail. Um, it always brightens my day, um, so yeah. Next I am going to show you a cross stitch finish. Um, the last time you saw it, it was almost finished, but now it's not finished. I think I needed to do a bit of the border, so this is March and April bands from the Linen and Threads Mystery Sampler 2018. Um, and the threads I used are the colorists from DMC that Taryn Willey sent to me. Um, and I'm actually going to mention her again later in this video because I have a new start. And it's your fault, Taryn. Your fault. The next thing I'm going to share with you is this guy. If you're one of my long-term subscribers, you have seen him before. Um, I worked on him, on him last year as well. And I got most of the Santa done. I... 
to do a bit of this boot and this boot and then the Santa was done and then I had to do the balloons and all the numbers and stuff. So let's see where the guy is at now. So Santa is finished. He's got two boots on and I'm almost done with the first balloon. This guy is not calling to me. Um, and I think it's because he is stitched on an eight count using cotton yarn instead of floss. Um, I have to rethread the needle all the time because you're using a lot of, you know, even though you have a pretty long strand, it's used quickly because it's this small of count. Um, and yeah. But I hope to get him finished this year so he can go to my daughter. The next thing I will share with you is my Indian motorcycle. I was done here, the front and this handlebar and some of the engine down here. And where I am at now, just remove my needle minder. Got some more of the. I've got a, a good bit of the fuel tank and the other handlebar. So that's where this piece is. And this is. I'm not working on this at the moment because I have something else, which is the piece that I'm blaming for. But before I'm going to show you the piece, I'm going to show you one of the two things that I have purchased since the last time. Um, I went to the thrift store that is close to one of the um, daycare centers, children's daycare centers that I work for. So I just left, you know, I had um, I had to go there to work one day and I think I was going to be there at one o'clock so I left you know instead of leaving 12 30 I just left at 12 o'clock and I had time to go to the trip store and I found this bag And in this bag was this TMC number 30, 50 grams, which is 1850 yards. That's actually all it says on here, except the thing in French that I can't read. And then there is, I suppose this is the color, 614. It is single stranded. Um, and the lady at the thrift store told me that you could use it for bobbin lace, which I might try at some point. Um, but right now I'm using it for cross stitch because I can. Now I have three hanks of it here. It's it's all the same color, and it's actually coming across pretty accurate, I think. Um, I call the color a light olive. Um, so, 
in the bag was four hanks. I have pulled one out. I'm going to show you. And I paid five Danish kroner, which is less than a dollar, US dollar. Um, score. I just had to buy it. I couldn't leave it there. I had to buy it. And good thing that I did because Taryn, you're looking? Yeah. I started the linen and threads. Mystery Sampler Sal 2017. And why did I do this? Anyone? Taryn? Yeah. Taryn enabled the enable. I can't speak. Taryn enabled me to do this. She is working on this piece. Um, and has shown it in several of her videos. She is just about done. Um, she is down to, to the last couple of bands, I believe. Um, and every time I see this piece, and I know she is not the only one doing it, I have seen it in, in more channels, but every time I see it, I, I just I have been seeing it, I have just been falling more and more in love with it. Originally I had some old DMC in a cream color, off-white, a crew, I don't know, that I had I think 11 or 12 skeins of. And I wanted to dye some fabric to do it, because all my fabric is light, so it wouldn't show up. I just never did get to to dyeing the fabric which I'm pre pretty happy for now because this is the last hank fourth hank just having a bullet clip up here to to secure the the end and This is where I'm at. So far. I started this on the 20th uh, of uh, September. And I'm doing this on the same 39 or 14, 40. Yeah, 14. Mm -hmm. 39, or, 39 or 40 count mystery linen. That I bought at a thrift store. I'm not sure it's used, meant to be used for cross stitch, but I can see the holes. I can stitch on it. Hmm? Yeah, it was cheap. Um, and I would actually have had more progress if it wasn't for that really, really, really bad frog that came to visit me. I think it was Tuesday. Um, Sarah Lee, Tuesday, Sarah Lee's Skill 1 on here. I've been chatting a lot with her lately and I'm really enjoying it. And I have sent her, you know, progress pictures of this piece. And I do believe it was Tuesday. I sent a picture where Let me see, these, these three petals and this little dude down here, you know, this little triangle curly thingy, was the only part of this, what you see now, that was missing. The next picture I sent, all of this flower, this little thingy, this one, 
this one on top, this one, and a few stitches in this one. What's missing? Yeah. I had misplaced a stitch up here. And when I started this motif here, or this flower, I was counting out from this petal. So when I got down here, I had done this this part prior. It didn't match up. I was off one stitch. I had to pick it all out and put it in again. So and now I have to move the Q snap in order to work some more on that. And this this project is going to take me a long time. Um, so well, that's a good thing. Now I'm going to share with you my next purchase. What is that you're saying? Yeah, well that's the thing from a bowl, a cake, of uh, something of yarn that I bought. Multicolored. It was a, it might be clearance. It was a hundred and thirty Danish kroner. I got it for 50. This price, as you can see, is actually wrong. This is what's left of the yarn, just to show you. It is a acrylic and wool blend. It was variegated and they actually on their website provided me with a free pattern for a shawl and said you can get one shawl with one keg of yarn. So I went and I bought a keg of yarn and again I'm not good at that YouTube flush tube rule that says you have to show it before you use it. I bought this the day after I made my last video. I had to start this. I, I had to start this. Yeah, I had to. And now it's finished. Beautiful colors from brown to an orange. Now they're all orange, yellows, greens, blues. And it's not a super big shawl. Um, but it doesn't matter because I actually think that I'm going to use it, you know, as a scarf instead. Winter is coming. So, yeah. It's actually pretty warm, so I'll just take it off. So that's that one. The last thing I have to share with you actually comes from a uh, not a mistake. Well, yeah, maybe you could call it that. Um, I sent my son-in-law to get me some yarn because he said I'm going to that store anyway. It's not a yarn store, it's a grocery store that sells a lot of other things. And each week they get new things in that they have, you know, for that week. Uh, or actually until, uh, until they are sold out. You, they don't get any more. Maybe they get some more six months from now or a year from now. But they can't order more in that week. So they have what they have. I sent him to buy cotton yarn. I had seen in their, the paper they sent out that they had some cotton yarn in uh, multicolored, in some blues and whites that I wanted to use for the dishcloth. Um, and he said, I'm going so I can, you know, buy it for you. Yeah, great. I just forgot to specify that it had to be cotton yarn because they actually had acrylic yarn as well. 
So what he came home with was the acrylic yarn. I'm not holding it against him, it's totally my fault. I should have told him that it had to be the cotton yarn. Um, but I said, hey, no worry, I'll find something to do. And at the moment I'm at a shawl kick or something. So I had to start another one. Now I had three balls of the, the multicolored yarn and I knew it wouldn't be enough. But luckily I had something that matched. So this is the multicolored. And this green one is something I had. I purchased some years ago. But the this green is actually in here, or at least something pretty close to it. So this is where I'm at right now. I'm calling each of these triangles for twos. And I have 19 so far, and the pattern says 25, or whatever. So I made nine in this, nine in this. Now I have switched back to the multicolored. I'm going to just use the two balls I have and see where that leads me. And I will just use some more of the turquoise geo aqua. I don't know what the color is for the rest. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, mostly. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, hope to get some more done in here. And I'm actually starting work Wednesday, next week. I got eight weeks. Uh, I've got a contract for eight weeks in one of the daycare centers that I have been working at as a, as a temp. Uh, or substitute or whatever it's called. Um, they offered me eight weeks because one of their employees have to go to attend some sort of a course or something. I don't know exactly. So she won't be, or be there all the time so they needed someone else and they offered me the position for the eight weeks so for the next eight weeks I know what I'm going to do each day uh, where I'm going to be and when I have to be there and when I'm off again unless something happens you know that I have to stay longer or something things can happen um, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. It is taking from my crafty time, but <laughs> you know. I have been crafting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't have much to do when they don't call me into work. I can craft all day. Um, so that's why I have been, been getting so much done. So maybe next time I'll see you. I don't have all that much uh, to share with you. Um, but who knows? Who knows? I will end this for now so that I don't get cut off, cut off again. Um, thank you everyone for coming by. Thank you for... Uh, watching, for leaving comments, for liking my video, um, and well, I'll just see you next time, whenever that will be. Bye. Oh, and hi Sarah Lee. I'll go write you an email. Um,